Hello and welcome to Cognos Query Studio Training Demo 1-8 Filtering Lists. Purpose, the marketing staff would like to see one report that shows gross profit and revenue data for retailers that generate the most ca camping equipment revenue in 2010. They would like to second report, they would like a second report that also shows the product types for that retailer but only shows product lines that generate over two million in revenue. Okay, let's go ahead, uh, let's go to sales query and from sales query we're going to expand product and we're going to insert the product line. Go ahead and insert. We also need the following year and retailer. Let's add that to the report as well. Then let's expand the following sales and revenue and let's add revenue and add gross profit to our report. And then select the product line and click filter on the toolbar. And then from there let's select camping equipment. Go down and click OK. And then we're going to select and click the filter on the toolbar. And since order is in numeric, you will be prompted for a range. Let's put in the following. Let's go ahead and enter 2010 for the from value and the to value. Then let's go ahead and click OK. Hey, okay, the combined filter dialog box appears. Leave the bold and as your selection. And let's click OK. Okay, select the revenue and click sort. Revenue will be sorted in ascending order by default. Click the sort one more time to sort in the descending order. Okay, now that the report is sorted in descending order by revenue, we can see that the leisure land generated the most camping equipment revenue in 2010. So let's go ahead and select the retailer and let's click on the filter in the toolbar. Select the leisure land from the dialog box and let's go ahead and click OK. The combined filter dialog box will now appear. Uh, let's leave the bold and as your selection and click OK. Hey, click the title. And then for the title, what we'll do is we'll put in 2010 top camping equipment retailer in the box. Once we've done that, go ahead and click OK. And you can see now the name is displayed. For the second report, click on the product line filter, text in the report display. And click OK. We're going to expand product and let's go ahead and add product type report and uh, use the cut and paste function to place it between the product line and the order year column. Hey, go ahead and select the product line column. Click on group on the toolbar. Select the revenue column and click the filter button on the toolbar. Go ahead and type in uh, 2 million in the from box and leave the default in the to box. Select the group summaries in the report radio button under the apply the filter product line. Go ahead and click OK. Note that uh, you can apply the filter any level of grouping that you have in the report. Go ahead and click OK. Not that, uh, note that the summary now the summary filter tab does appear. Only the product line whose total revenues was greater than or equal to two million appears in the report.